Oh, man, we know, man, we know, man, we know. We worked on this book now for almost seven years. In every of our sumo productions, we are always trying to do new things. But of course, this means also to do many series of tests. The relief embossing of the cover you see here, for example, we repeated it four times. And until the end, you do not know if it will ever work. So, but this is the nice thing about you. You try to get the best. And at the end, if sometimes it's fantastic and you have the results you want. Sometimes it does not work and you have to start over again, finding something different. We had to bring sheets from Europe to India that then will go back from India to Europe. The murals can now be appreciated much better than on site. They have never been explored to the extent uh, as they have been now because the walls are nine meter high, the lighting is terrible. You never were able to look uh, up and study the faces. You cannot get the picture with one photography. It is a sum of pictures taken digitally and then stitched together. Yeah, this is the original color file. And then we decided to print the picture with the real gold. So there's the gold foil as a first run. And then the other colors are printed on top. For sure, for each page, we had at least five sets of proofs. We used the binding machine that is made for Taschen. Uh, with this machine, we are able to sew a book block of 70 centimeters. That's the only machine who can do this. The uh, concept of the design for this bookstore is uh, created by uh, Shigeru Ban. He was asked by Benedict Dasha to collaborate with this book. If you think about Shigeru Ban, he's been called the architect of compassion. And uh, that's a word that comes directly linked with uh, Buddhist philosophy. Another very nice thing are our ribbons. And they correspond to the colors of the five Buddhas. These are the details that make the book so different. I always say it compares a little bit to having the Sistine Chapel unveiled for the first time, plus the most important examples of Christian art through the entire continent of Europe. And all of that assembled in one book that compares a little bit to, to what has been uh, done with the murals of Tibet.